Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. I am filming this video on my phone because my battery is dead and I want to get this video out. So um, this is going to be a happy planner review and I am going to compare the two planners. This is the new planners that are out by Mommy, the um, July 2016 through December 2017. And these are the old ones, which is June of 2014 to December 2016. So um, one con off the bat. I wish Mombi would do their planners um, just a year. And the reason I say that is because once July gets here, I'm gonna use this planner. This, I'm not gonna use this anymore, so I'm gonna have a planner that just goes to waste. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it because I've come to the realization that I'm a one planner girl. As you guys have seen my videos, I used to do a lot of planners, but it got too overwhelming, so I'm a one planner girl, so I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. Um, that is probably my only con with Mombi. Everything else, I absolutely love the Happy Planner. I love the ARC system because I can easily put things in, take things out, make it my own. I can buy my own paper or buy my own inserts and just cut it and put it in. It's a very, very easy process, and so I love the ARC system. So this planner, um, these are the covers that Mombi has released this year. It has the coordinating backs which I'm so glad that mommy did because the old covers didn't have back, so you had to just use what back you had. Um, really love this. This planner is originally the My Life one with the black cover and the gold heart, and everyone who's bought that one has complained about it like coming apart right here, and I don't understand what that is. Um, none of my other covers have done that, so I switched it out and put this one on, and I love the black and white stripe with the pink heart. Like I love this color scheme. So, um, I'm going to get into the Happy Planner, what I love about it, and then I will compare these two right here. Now, um, this is my cover sheet. I decorated it. Um, if you know, if you're a part of the planner community, which you probably are if you're watching this video, you know how much we love decorating. Um, I just put out these three colors. I really love them, and I just wanted to pick out something that stood out. Uh, I do have the home planner in here. It's separate. It's $9.99, and I use this thing all the time. I don't use the budget section, but the house cleaning, meal planner, and to-do list. I use every single day um, so we're gonna get started um, these paper clips by the way are from mommy they released those each year but um I want to kind of go to a blank page because it's it's easier to tell you what I like about it if it's a blank and not decorated this is April and what I love about the monthly view is that it's huge you know, I, all, I use my monthly view all the time. I do decorate it and I, I write a month at a time. So when I'm doing my weeks, I can go back and look and say, okay, what needs to be done this week? And I write it on my weeks. I don't, I used to decorate weeks in advance. Like when I was doing December, I did the whole month of December, mid November. And I just don't do it that way anymore. Um, but anyway, I love how big the boxes are. Love them, love them, love them. And so um, moving on to the weekly view. I love that the boxes are huge. You know, I it's rare that I use an entire column, but it's not a bad thing for me because I can decorate, you know, what I want and figure out what, you know, if I'm putting a, you know, a sticker sheet on an entire box, I can say, okay, I know that Thursday, I'm not gonna have a lot to do, so I can actually put a box right here or a box right there. And I can say, okay, on Saturday, I know I'm not gonna do anything in the evening, so I can put a box there, you know what I mean? So I love that. Some people don't like it, that the boxes are so big, but I love it because I love looking at this huge thing up here. The one thing I don't like is the morning, afternoon, and evening because I use this as one big to-do list. I never say I need to do this in the morning or this in the afternoon or this in the evening. You know, it's just one big to-do. I do put what I need to do first. You know, like I'll say like, oh, you know, I need to mop the floors or clean out the closet and then afternoon. But I never say, okay, I'm going to do this specific task in the afternoon or this specific task. Because I'll say cook dinner and I'll put it right here because I'll do it like at three. That's not evening time. So you know what I mean? It's the only thing I don't like. And another thing I don't like, I don't like that the weekend squares are color because if I don't want to use this color scheme, this messes everything up. And so I kind of kind of work with it and figure out what I want to do. Um, so yeah, the note section I like, but I hardly use. A lot of times washi tape is going over this. Um, so I don't use, I don't use this. I usually put like a quote up here or a sticker. I don't use a section, but I do like it because I did use it I'm using it this week <laughs> so 
Um, I, re I went very minimalist on this week because I was just, I was not into doing covering at all. So I just purely functional for this week. So going back to April, um, I love this and I love the, um, you know, the weekly views or whatever. Um, I cannot think of one bad thing to say about the happy planner. Like I, I don't get it. <laughs> How does a product just be this awesome and not have anything bad with it? I love the arc system. I love that I can easily take pages out to decorate. I love that I can buy any type of paper that I want or any type of cardstock. Like for example, I can easily, you know, take something like this, cut it and just slide it in here as an inspirational, you know, or what, you know, it's, it's very convenient to have the arc system. And um, like I, I try to do like spiral, I, I can't do it because take it, once you take it out, that's basically it. So yeah, that is basically my review on this happy planner. Like it's, it's a really, really good, you know, planner. I really just like it. So I do want to get into the new planners and how they are different um, between these two. They have a lot of similarities, you know, you know, the arc system, but there are some differences, some things that Mombi has changed in this planner that P, like the customers were complaining about. And one thing I love about Mombi is that they listen to their customers. I was looking through this and I was like, yes, they finally added that or they took something away. So it's good. So I'm going to start, I'm going to put this at the top, you know, and see what I can do. Well, you know what? It's, it's going to look better like this. <laughs> Okay, so when we first open it up, let me go actually to the, you know, where, oh, it's at the front. I want to go to the, you know, the cover sheet. First off, let me say which planner I have. I have the peonies one. This is the one I wanted when I first saw it. I got it. I'm glad. There's people who can't decide, but I, I'm so glad that I found the one that I really wanted. So I'm going to open it up to you know the cover sheet or whatever um obviously they look different i love the simplicity of this i already put my name in it love the peony on here very very simplistic love that this one is simple too but like i don't need to put my address on there but i just love the simplicity of this and i want to go to where the month is Okay, I'm going to look at the dashboard because there is a dashboard right here. Okay, so as you can see, the dashboards are really different. This is the, you know, the old Happy Planner and this is this one. This one is good. I like it. You can, you know, you have your birthdays, your April goals, don't forget important dates. I do use these, but this I really, really like. If you have the watercolor planner kit, the one that says stay happy, this is in there. And that's what I really loved about that planner. Um, you have June, July, August. You have three month view up here, but you can actually put what, you know, everything that you're doing, what you're grateful for, important dates and birthdays. So they took some stuff over here, added to it, but they also added this, which I absolutely love. So I wanna talk about the month view. Let's go to the month view. All right, so the month view for the old Happy Planner is, is pretty plain. I mean, you have the color, but there's nothing spectacular about it. The month view on the peonies one has a peony on every single month. Love that. That could be a con for some people if they don't want to do anything with flowers, so they may have to cover it up. I can see how this can be a problem with some people. Um, but I love it. I love the simplicity. I love the peonies right here. You still have your notes. Love that. So I'm going to go to a weekly view. Oh, I also want to talk about the rings. As you can see, these are see-through and these are not. You know, these remind you of like those planner kits where they have like the, um, the see-through rings. But I do love that they're pink. So I do want to go into a weekly view so you guys can see how they are different. If I can just curve it up. Okay, weekly view, they changed some stuff. You know, on the weekly view of the old planners, you have your morning, afternoon, and evening. 
the new ones, they took it away. I am so glad. <laughs> it's still divided. So, um, you can easily put washi tape if you want to, but you don't have to anymore. You don't have to put washi tape down here. You can just write, but I know part of the planner community, we're going to wash you over that <laughs> because that's just what we do. Um, but I love that they took it out, especially for people who are part of this planner community who don't decorate a lot, who just use like basic, you know, to do stickers. You don't have to worry about that. You have your notes over here. I love, as you can see, the number systems up here and then they change it. It's rainbow. I can see how this will be a problem with some people. They don't want this color scheme because up here, you just it's black. It'll go with everything. But this, I can see how it would be a problem. I just love it. It's very fun. It's very cute and everything. And so the dividers are very different. You know, every planner has different dividers, so I'm not going to compare. But this is um, for August. And this up here, the little asterisk lets you know what month you're on. Really, really love that. I've also forgot to mention the one thing that comes with this planner that the other planners don't have is a year at a glance. You have 2016 and 2017. The other planners don't have this, but you get two years in advance. How amazing is that? Really, really nice. You can, you know, you can easily like circle things, circle dates if you need to, but I really love that. And I wanna go to the back, because I'm pretty sure there's a note section. Um, if we can do it, you know, sometimes this can be a little hard to turn because of the way the system is set up. You have notes back here, um, you know, in case you wanna write things down. And let me see if, this has it also i'm pretty sure it does yeah you have your notes so that is that planner and this is the new one now i really love what they did with this i love that they made a couple of changes but still kept the whole happy planner system i love this i love that they did um two year you know look at a glance i love the new dashboard i love that they took the morning evening and afternoon the one thing i don't like I hate these color blocks. Like, I know they do it because it's the weekend, but I think most of us know when the weekend is. <laughs> I just hate that they do this because it's, sometimes I leave it blank if it matches like my washi and stickers. I don't care about it. But say I want to do like a purple theme. This is a match. And I have to get like washi to put it over or a sticker sheet. It's just, to me, it's a waste. I don't know how anyone else feels. But that's the only con I really have with these happy planners. Everything else is completely, you know, amazing. So, yes, that is a happy planner review, and there's a comparison between these two. I hope you guys like this video. If the camera was shaking a little bit, I apologize. If there's anything that I forgot to mention and you thought of, please feel free to ask me. I will answer it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, oh, I didn't mention the price. If you don't know, it's $29.99. Um, I believe the old hat planners are the same. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. But, yes. So, I'm going to get out of here. And thank you for tuning in. Please rate, subscribe, comment. And I will see you all later. Bye.